Maria Giselle Raya and Julia De Castro brought one of the most surprising films to Locarno Film Festival. On the Go follows two friends on the run, one running away from a nightclub he just burnt down, and the other running towards motherhood. On the way, we save a mermaid's life, have an orgy in a stable, and dissect a fish. Hello. Hello. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, so look, today I saw On The Go, and I have to apologize because I had to watch on a laptop because I'm a very, very busy man. But it's amazing. I really, really loved it. Really? It's, oh, yeah. It's okay. sexy. It's funny. It's exciting. It looks like iconic. Um, Thank you. I, 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 I really, really enjoyed it. However, yes, I do think that there's a large amount of it wasted on me because I'm a terrible ignoramus and I don't understand much about Spanish cinema. And as I understand it, it is a reply to a, uh, a film from the 1980s. Yes, yes, but nobody knows this. Oh, yeah, right. It's, it's a super underground. It's film. super underground. Oh, like okay, not you, better. not even a Spanish people. So, so what's that film? Fine. That film, it, uh, it's uh, Corridas de Alegría, uh, directed by Gonzalo García Pelayo. And it's the reason why we decided to make On The Go, because Julia actually had seen it and she challenged me to do something uh, as a remake at the beginning, but then it became its own adventure. Yeah. What? What? So you saw it, what inspired you to say, we've got to respond to the it? The thing is, no, no, no. The thing is, uh, it's a very local movie. I mean, it's it was shooting in Andalusia, in the south of Spain. So in Sevilla, uh, specifically, well, between Sevilla and Cadiz. So Marie is from Sevilla. So a lot of people from Sevilla doesn't even know about the film, but I just watch it because I don't know, I'm a freak. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I watched this film and I don't know, one day we were in, in Italy, we when we share a, a, an artistic residency, sure. by the way, one of the most beautiful and amazing ones in Spain called, uh, Academia Española en Roma. Exactly. In Rome. So we were, we share nine months together with another 22 artists. So we had breakfast, lunch, uh, we cry, we laugh, we, I don't know, we, we spend like our lives together. So um, one day I told, I told her like, I was thinking that would be amazing to, 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 to make a remake uh, of uh, Corridas Alegría. And she was in shock, like, why do you know this film? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I had seen this film in a very particular, like a uh, film club in a very underground place because I knew the director already. And I was like, I am from Sevilla and I worked with the, that with the writer of this director. And it, it, it was already weird that I had seen it, but uh, Julia is from, from Avila, which is uh, center north of Spain and uh, or center center. Uh, and it's much more difficult for somebody like this to. And, and so, and the, the plot of the film, largely the same? And it, it's, no. it's a real movie. Uh, it, it starts got, in Sevilla. It it starts mermaid masturbating. Uh, th there the is original? a lot of, uh, th I think there is more sex in that. Yeah. Than oh, wow. More okay. sex, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It, it, it was almost califi calificada. Yeah, it, it was, um, rated S. Oh, okay. Which is not X. And it, it doesn't exist anymore. But it's uh, almost X. It's almost, <laughs> almost X. X. Almost X. But yeah, yeah. And uh, by the way, they include a, a, a amazing scene with a trans, with a trans at the oh, end really? of the film. Yeah. Amazing. Very amazing scene. So yeah, it's much more sexy. <laughs> than us. So, I don't know if it's sexy, but it's sec more sexual. More sexual, sure. maybe. The yeah. original one. So, so your film isn't necessarily a critique of that film. Oh no, 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 no. It's no. An homage. It, yeah, it's a, it's a starting point. It, yeah, it's really. What also, it is. let's say, let's be clear, and let's say, they were in the eighties. They were he, the writer, the script writer, and the director were men. Mm -hmm. So. It was rated as the most sexiest uh, film from this director. But for us, transcending this view, I mean, in the context of the 80s, for us was an amazing film about not only cars, at least for me, because I love cars, I'm crazy about cars. So, um, but also about the, you know, this um, feeling in the 80s in Spain, we were, we were a uh, Exiting. Yeah. exiting from a dictator yeah, at yeah. that moment. So in, on this, in the South, they, they had this amazing and uh, joyful um, way to see life, but also the, the car, it was like, um, it's a really nice car. It's a really nice car, yeah. <laughs> but the car as an object at the eighties, it was for me, at least, uh -huh. uh, as we grew up 
at that moment we were like child at the 80s, the car was a collective of object. And I, I really believe that right now it's a very individual and selfish object. And it's like, yeah. okay, I have my car. I go to the, I don't know. It's more like a property, uh, but in- It's designed to keep you separated from other people rather than bring you together. Yeah, mm-hmm. and right. it's, it's the alternative to public transport as opposed yeah. to the form of public exactly. transport. Exactly. So in the eighties, a lot of people did like- uh, Hitchhiking. Hitch, hitchhiking, yeah. Hitch, hitchhiking. Uh, so it's part of the movie, like the people come and go from the car and it's like the way it happens, the things, it's like, what are you doing here? Okay, let's go. Oh, let's go to that way. Or oh, let's change our, you know, our trip. Or, or let's I love steal that. somebody else's car. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, music is obviously really kind of key to this film. What's really cool about it is that it isn't just one style. Mm-hmm. That that it's uh, you can tell taken across many decades, if not, I assume, at some point, at least a century. Um, you know, what are you trying to say something specific about the region or the time? You know, how are you choosing these songs? So the original film was also like a radiography of the music scene of the moment. And are also some musicians are also playing little uh, roles in the film. So we wanted to do the same, but 40 years later, no? So uh, there are uh, three no, four, four of the musicians are, yes. are actually in the film too. Five, if Five. we count the girl. Yeah, it's true. Actually. So, um, and it's people that we admire and that we wanted to, to, we wanted to make the document of what's going on in the cultural scene of Andalusia right now too, the same way. I'm a musician too. I have a career as a musician, so for me it was really important, like to the soundtrack as a fact, like uh, the the first song and the last song. Uh, let's say it's an homage for uh, from the eighties. No, it's like uh, the Burning. It was a very strong uh, rock progressive uh, band, and the last one is like an homage from for uh, Corridas Alegría because it's the same song. The mm. finish, yeah, the fi- the, it's the same finish song. The rest, they are friends. Or they become friends during the during the process, and I don't know. We are so happy to spread their music to the world because we can see in the screen Sazam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> but I think it's so. I don't know. I find it so strange when kind of uh, music is the last thing that people think about when they're making a film. No, that's not true. No, no, no. But sometimes, I think some directors it is, you know. For me, it's the first. People use, yeah, because people use temp music. They cut things to temp music, which I think is a crime. You mentioned a bit the, one of the scenes, that crazy scene in the horse. uh, The the, 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 the the orgy orgy in the stable. (laughs) I I had cleared the the music for for this scene. And let's say we don't maybe uh, shoot with the music, but we at least had the idea of how it sounds. Sure. I remember rehearse the orgy yeah. with that music because I knew it was That was the perfect one. It, yeah. Although we might have to change it though. Oh, really? We're looking for money too. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. We're going to have it. No, but yeah. I'm, gonna, really? I'm gonna get it, like, okay. come on. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, the, 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 as I said before, the just the, the style and the look of the film that, you know, the, um, the, the, well, I guess it's, I guess it's designed to look like a early 1980s, uh, color palette. Um, it's shot in 16 mil. It is shot way. in 16. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's okay. shot in 16. One take. <laughs> really? <laughs> Everything. Most, most of the shots just, are one take. Uh, just three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And because, because, uh, the actor Omar just pushed us like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I need another tape. And he's like, no, 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 we can't, we don't have money. No, no, I'm going to do it. Like, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to put the money to pay the role to be with this scene. And I say, okay, let's do it. <laughs> it goes like that, like yeah. literally. But, but it may, it's a great combination, like having the mobile phones, but it also coming through the 16 mil and stuff. It, I don't know, it kind of, it gives it a real sense of personality. Did you, did you always know it was going to look and feel like that? That's like kind of sharing the same canvas as Corridas de Alegría, mm-hmm. which also had the same aspect ratio and and, 16, and was also shot in 16 mil. So we were thinking, okay, let's use the same canvas as as them, but then go wild and free and do whatever we want. No, so in that sense, I also told Julia many times, if this this is very risky that we are actually doing this in 16 mil, yeah. there is something romantic about doing your first film in actual film that otherwise it feels like if you don't make a film in film, 
you're not making a film True. <laughs> or you should call it something else. Everyone per- try to pursue us to, to not do Everybody, it. Everybody, yeah. Like just yeah, shooting digital, <laughs> please. Yeah. You don't have money and we're like, we don't care. <laughs> I, I told her, yeah, if this is more risky, but if it goes well, Everybody will appreciate the risk we took. Mm. <laughs> so I don't know. I think no, it worked. I, I, it I appreciate amazing. it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And your we risk. used all the all the mistakes, no, all the overexposures, the the ends of roles as part also of the language that we're creating. No, well, the, the beginning is burn. Yeah, it's no, right. no. Yeah. It's, it, there is a clear. Yeah, no, yeah. There's it, was, it was a like it was a mistake. Like the the role became like como se dice quemado, no. Yeah, um, uh, overexposed. Oh, overexposed, yeah. and we keep it. Yeah. Well, because you got no other. <laughs> no, we decided to keep it. We could remove it, but we say like we uh, like fair it. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it connects also with the character in a way. You can read it. There is there is so many layers of uh, interpretation in the film, and you can read it as Milagros is also kind of like losing her fertility. No, so it's it's uh, degraded in a way. Mm. It's degrading. Well, yeah, okay. Can be a lecture, yeah. This is, this is a solid read. Um, like, I, I, I was, I'm actually a little surprised to know that the film you based this on is a is is a film you guys admire because there's quite a lot of the spirit that I picked up on in the film feels like a kind of generational war, um, as though you know your war, yeah, between generations. Really? Yeah, like that. that that's what I, that's what I felt. Oh, uh, that's good. Maybe. That's good. Is that good? It sounds like no. I mean, it no, can I be an interpretation. Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. But let um, us know, please. I want to know now. Well, I mean, because I guess the reason it felt like that is, you know, obviously quite. You know, in in many spaces, queer sex is a political art, but um, or act. But here, I also felt like. Uh, heteronormative sex was a political act because you have that the you know the 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 pressure and the fear of being a mother but also the the sperm this is a dangerous thing um i don't know that it, it just made me think that replication of humans the can the continual having of children is itself political and dangerous okay. which is what made me think that there was a kind of generational conflict okay but i might have just invented all that stuff no no, no, no. <laughs> it makes but sense. i don't see the conflict though because the world is running to an end anyway so <laughs> what what's the conflict between the generations well the older generation did that yeah okay <laughs> yeah. okay uh, yeah. yeah okay no, no it makes sense for me like i didn't think about that but uh fair yeah. enough yeah, yeah fair enough yeah what I don't entirely know that. Who's Paloma? Paloma? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's the last character. No, right? I know. But is, is Paloma, is that from a kind of old story or something? Well, we also, uh, let's, let's, let's say that uh, this, this script uh, is a structure, uh-huh. but we build a lot of scenes on set. Gotcha. Um, Paloma, the real name is Patricia. She's a... A kind of like it's like a mystic uh magical. contemporary magical dancer uh so she was really like into the what are, what are we going to do so we didn't know precisely what are going to happen until we start to rehearse with her on set in oh, the cool. dove dove yeah that dove place country. is amazing yeah that's yeah. place is insane so um yeah the the plan was like si como una medium no medium or something like that like someone, I mean, yeah, you can find this kind of people right now in the world, like people who kind of guide the other ones that mm-hmm. has questions. And Patricia, in her real life, the first time we went to her house and we just have a coffee with her and tea, uh, we were like the DOP and the art director and they become like in shock. Like they were like, okay, this woman is a character, like <laughs> we're going to portray this because obviously mm, she is like the character. She's very strong. Yeah. So she become Paloma, but she is also herself. And yeah, she, she understood the character we brought and she like en- embodies no? mm-hmm. the character, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Is your question so? hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> yeah, but who is Paloma? Paloma, yeah, yeah, yeah it's no. a, like a medium, like someone who you, you go to because you, when you have like answers, uh, so, sorry, questions about, mm-hmm. in this case, fertility and, you know, the concept, we are, we are treating this concept as a very 
in unmature persons, because we are very unmature, I'm almost 38 years old, I don't want to, you know, be mature at all. So we sometimes go or pursue things uh, or pursue people that maybe they have some answers. Sure. And it's like, yeah, yeah. why well, don't you tell me? Yeah, so it's like, why don't you tell me instead of, I don't know, I don't, maybe I'm lazy, I don't want to think about it. Maybe someone tell me, my character, Milagros, I don't know if you, you know what it means, Milagros. No, Milagros, no, we have these names in Spain, in Spanish. Milagros literally means miracles. Miracles. Like, miracles. Really, okay. yeah, yeah. So you, there are people who, you know, who call herself miracles. Miracle. Like, hey, miracles. And my, <laughs> my uncle and my grandma, uh, my grandma is dying already, but uh, she passed away, but she, her name was miracles. So it's a cool name. It's a, it's yeah, a name. It's yeah, a it's like Julia or Maria is a miracles. So <laughs> miracle has this name, has this sentence like, uh, please, can someone tell me what to do any any time? And I love this sentence. I want to I apply this sentence in my life. Like, can you tell me what to do, please? Because I don't want to, you know. Yeah, that is a good sentence. I love it. Like, yeah. just tell me what to do. Yeah. Just it's enough. Yeah, that's life would be a lot more relaxing if everybody yes. had some certainty and direction for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> um, the fish dissection. Mm -hmm. Is is that what is you know? You, obviously, we see the men kind of taking part. Is it a zebra fish? Mm -hmm. Zebra fish. Yeah. Um, and then I assume that the the, the si very scientific shot we see is of the heart of the zebra fish, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. It yes. looks amazing. It looks like incredibly beautiful. How did you get that shot? Did you just buy that shot? No, <laughs> no, no. We ha I have a friend. See, he his PhD is about zebra zebra faces. And <laughs> I, when I he, didn't think you would have to have heard about it somewhere. <laughs> so when he told when we met, he well, he told me about this uh, research, and I was like, "Are you serious? Like zebras reconstruct uh, their hearts like very fast, and you cut their hearts and just put it again in the water, and they." Be they are alive and they, yes, they do that. We are, we are researching as crazy, these, these animals. So I went to the, you know, to the laboratory. I saw everything. I saw how they manage all these things and it's insane. So he was very like, oh, really, you want to portray this for your film? Like, mm -hmm. come on, this is the best metaphor for the film. So we included like this film we're growing up because we are very contaminated by our friends. Uh, Jonathan, the character exists. Is one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Everyone is like, uh, it's part of their biography. Also the fish scene. Yeah, yeah. So do you just shoot it with a microscope? I don't, what's no, the practicality? No, this is a shot with an iPhone, no? Yeah, oh, uh, he, 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 no, no, he himself. He's not with an iPhone. They have a proper, in the microscope, they they, they used to record the, thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's digital. Yeah, yeah, it's digital. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's digital. digital. Okay. Yeah, it's the only digital part. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fish heart. <laughs> it was impossible to bring the, the, to, you know, the camera. Well, this there. was uh, what I was wondering. <laughs> okay, no, 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 um, it's digital, it's digital. So what's um you know what what's next? Are you kind of still you're still going around securing some funding for distribution and things? Mm -hmm, Do you know yeah. where you're going to be able to release the film yet? Other things coming down the line. Uh, we have a sales agent that is doing all the rights, but uh, we have Spain. Mm -hmm. um, it's MPM, and uh, we we haven't signed anything, okay. so we don't. Know and the, the film is ours yeah. entirely. Oh, we are great. we are broke, but it's ours. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're not broke. You're rich with film. Yeah, we. That's true. Yeah. So we are looking for uh, clever clever platforms to mm. buy our film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why not if we, I don't know, if we have uh, some awards uh, festival? That would be amazing. That will be easier. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> we trust a lot in the film. Like the, the people love it. The reviews were insane for us. We came here to Locarno. We say like, oh my God, we were right. We, yeah. Like, it's, it's really, but it's, it's, yeah, it's really weird, but it's also really um, uh, human and relatable and just really fun. <laughs> like, it's just like, it's actually just a good time, you know, which is, which goes quite a long way. People laugh in the, in yeah, the, laugh. Uh, the, it's uh, nice. the vasectomy line is a, is a straight up, <laughs> is a straight up belly laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a fun, it's a humor. Yeah. yeah. But also it's, a, it's deep, you know, sometimes like, you know, the maternity concept, let's say yeah. it's, a, it's a deep question, but also for us, it's like, we want to be uh, light with mm. this thing also. Is it a 
in your mind a political film? ¿Qué significa eso? Política. Ah, sí es política. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it is because it's impossible not to not to be political in a way, no? But uh, we are not tra we are trying to leave it open for interpretation so everybody resonates with whatever needs. We are not trying to to push an agenda neither, no? Of course, of it course, has a message like, uh, come on, uh, is the if the economic historical context doesn't change, they're not going. You're not going to have children who pay you. The you re okay. retire? ¿Cómo se dice? Retirement, yes. Retirement. We are not going to have childs. No. Like, no. no we, I prefer to films. So, you see, I mean. This yeah. is what I mean about generational <laughs> conflict. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like we are not going to have children, so that's okay. So uh, you mean uh, we'll be, you know, in Spain we have a real problem. I'm from the center, as Maria said, uh -huh. and we have a real problem. There is no people. The you know we ha we pr we belong. I belong to the empty Spain. Really, there are no people. So, yeah, but there is a lot of people that need to move uh, from yeah, the places right. because they're gonna get it's gonna get hot. So yeah, yeah, there is a lot. Maybe of that's a solution. Yeah, we got the solution. We yeah. got the solution. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Well, we nailed it, guys. <laughs> well, I think we'll be fixed. It's no, but Spanish, I can, I can another go. thing that I'm gonna say is not political. Well, it is political in Spain right now. There is the extreme right is actually rising uh, pretty crazily. So in a way, and today I just received a, a text message from somebody from my family that was uh, kind of making fun of the fact that Omar was gay. And I was mm. really, really shocked because I was like, this is my cousin, you know, like it's so close and people still make fun of people because they're gay and yeah. in uh, younger generations. And I'm like, okay, in that sense, yes, it is political. It's political. Um, Everything is political. Be because it's, like, it's- The personal is political. Yeah, no. it's, it's making, Uh, the the idea of the dysfunctional family or the idea of uh, friendships between generations, no, because the Milagros and Jonathan are almost 15 years apart. It's not so common. All those things and making that normal and casual and uh, uh, just yeah, uh, part of the of natural. I guess it's it's political. Yeah. Well. Thank you very much for talking to me. Really like the film. Thank you for seeing thank it. You. I promise thank if it comes for... to London, I'll watch it on a big screen. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you for having us. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>